So it's been a while since I've recorded a game, but I figured this one was interesting enough to record. Not so much that it's particularly close, but it's a very good demonstration of how a control deck plays the containment game. So you see I'm playing Nin against Azusa, with him going first. Anytime this deck goes first, it's about 10 times more dangerous. And I have a hand with a lot of acceleration. No counters. Obviously my plan is very simple. Ramp up to Soul Ring, Monolith, Steel on the Soul Ring. Next turn play Nin and untap Monolith at the end of turn, untap and draw 9 or something crazy and hope that he uh, doesn't have any acceleration to disrupt that. So he's going first. I'm going to reverse the cards here. You go down here, I go up here. I just draw Meyer. Oh, no, that's right. I, I open with Daze here, which is pretty nice. Figure I can Daze his turn two Azusa, or turn three Azusa. So I just do that play. He's got an Emerald Medallion, which... In my opinion, is dangerous enough that it's worth dazing, even if it kind of sets back my plan. The truth is, I wish this had been a counter besides daze, obviously, because I have to daze here, hoping that maybe he only has two land. And um, the daze is going to be useless next turn, because he's probably going to play Azusa and play two more land, and then cast something at either maybe six or seven mana, in which case the daze is not going to do anything. And this... Azusa deck has so many dangerous plays, especially because he'll effectively have, if he does have two lands in hand, he'll have six mana and then eight on the next turn, and I still don't have a counter. So if he were to resolve something devastating like uh, Terastrodon or something, I, uh, I wouldn't ever be able to use Nin to any effect if I go with that plan. So I decided to daze. Long on the short of it. Even though it does set me back quite a bit, I just draw another land. Place two more land. So now that he does have two more land in his hand, I'm really, really concerned about a. Um, I'm really, really concerned about something coming down next turn at seven or eight mana. And uh, as no, as much as I would like to untap the Grim Monolith right now, I feel like I can't really do that. I think about doing it, and then I decide I'd rather just impulse, because I really, really want to get a counter spell right now to stop the next next play. And I get, this is kind of an interest, interesting choice here. I'll give the audience a second to decide what they would take and why. I've got Coalition Relic, which is decent acceleration, although it doesn't really affect the game. Another land, which is obviously useless. Crucible, which is tempting, given that I have Misty Rainforest in my hand. And uh, it's good for the long game. But ultimately, I decide on Fire Ice. Not to kill Azusa, but really just to slow him down and to draw a card figuring I'm going to dig one card further down, and um, if I can delay at least a 6-7 mana level of his deck for a turn, it will uh, probably give me enough time to draw a counterspell. Again, going with the containment strategy is what you want to go for, so I take Fire Ice, the rest go to the bottom. I draw the top, absolutely worth using right now, go hunt for that counter. I see no counters, but I do see Strip Mine which makes the loss of the uh, Crucible considerably more painful. So now the containment strategy is fully in effect here. So I've effectively shut him down from having as many as much as 7 mana on, uh, on his, I guess what, 4th turn? Down to just 3. And he's got Cultivate. Back up to 6. And without another land in hand, though. So my instincts were correct. It was definitely about stopping the medallion, icing to keep him off land. So this time, off the, uh, off the polluted delta fetch, I see two counter spells. So simple plan here. I've got exactly enough mana to run Dismiss. He draws a land, obviously, and casts Cage Sun. And we're going to just dismiss that. And Cage Sun is not really all that dangerous, except that because it doubles his mana and I'm going to be dealing with one counter a turn, he's going to have a minimum of 14 mana next turn. It's not that I'm 
that terrified of, ha of him having that much mana, but it's more that he can deploy two threats, in, two huge threats in one turn. So now we've got the rewind. We see shackles, which is pretty nice. And if I wanted to, I could drop shackles and take Min, but there's no, I mean, take his guy, but there's no reason to do that. I'm just going to sit on rewind, and look at this. Everybody's favorite mono green friend, Terastrodon. It would be hard to find a better target for rewind than that. And it's extra great because I get to untap the monolith at the end of the turn. So to give you a sense of just like how this game is played out, by playing the containment strategy, I, I effectively opened with zero counter spells, and I've been able to stop every relevant thing that he's done for the most part. The first early medallion, the caged sun, and now Terastrodon. So I play Nin, and I see Merchant Scroll on top. So I go get Pact of Negation, and I play Shackles. So basically, no matter what he does at this point, he's effectively screwed, unless unless he draws, I don't know, Cross and Grip or something. But the fact that I've got Negation now, along to go with Nin and all this extra mana, means that he's basically cooked. Taps a few lands and concedes. So it's not really that close of a game other than the fact that I think it was a good example of systematically fetching the different components that the control deck needs to keep the player completely contained up to the point when you reach critical mass and effectively go off with Nin the Pain Artist. Pretty cool little game. Hope you enjoyed it.